In today's video, we're going to be talking about doubling your sulfur. Once you hit a milestone of 100 ounces, going from 100 to 200. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver. More specifically, I wanted to talk about how to double your silver from one milestone to the next. This was inspired by a subscriber's question. We're gonna get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Got the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tees available in three different colors, as well as the DYDSS Fight Collection, raising a little bit of funds and awareness for the National Breast Cancer Foundation for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Friday, October 1st, or should I say Halloween 1st, 2021. The current spot price of silver, as I'm filming the video, is $22.52. It's up 1.62% or up 36 cents. Spot price of gold is $17.62.40, up 0.3%, or up $5.20. And the gold to silver ratio is in the 78 to 79 to 1 range. But that's it. obviously as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today, I wanted to respond to a subscriber's question while also simultaneously piggybacking off of the video that I posted yesterday. For those of you who tuned in, it was like a half an hour long video talking about my first 100 ounces of silver. And I talked about in the video how my first milestone was 50 ounces of silver. And due to the fact that I wasn't stacking super aggressively, took me about six or seven months to get there. Once I hit that milestone, it really revved things up for me. And I got from 50 to 100, just two months after that. So six or seven months to hit one goal, and then two more months to double everything that I did in my first six or seven. So I wanted to make that video yesterday to lead into today's video. Because a couple days ago, I had received a comment, or actually it was a live chat during the live premiere, from a viewer named Eric. And I'm going to read the message right here. It says, hey, I'm 17 and I have achieved my first 100 ounces of silver and half ounce of gold. I have 60 rounds, 25 ounces in junk, and the rest in bars and numismatics. Where should I go from here? To which I have to say, first and foremost... Before I even answer the question, congratulations on hitting your first 100 ounces of silver. It's a great milestone, and the next step is 200, and you're already on your way if you're already asking that question. So 100 ounces of silver, which is roughly what I have on screen. I actually think this is a little bit more than 100, and half an ounce of gold, which is what I have right here in my hand. Where should you go from here? In my opinion and from my perspective, just by reading your message, I can already tell that your stack is pretty diversified already, which is good to know, and that's good to see. Where you should go from here, I believe, is just simply sticking to as low premium as you can possibly get. Whatever you have to do to break down the premiums to the best of your ability, that is, after all, what I'm doing, and that's what I'll continue to do. So you presented it as you've reached your first 100 ounces of silver. And I'm just going to go ahead and assume you're stacking for the same or similar reasons as why I'm stacking, which is long-term wealth preservation and using the metal as a physical at-home savings account, rather than a coin collection. The way you worded it leads me to believe that you're stacking or much more interested in stacking than collecting, but I see you do have some numismatics, which are also really cool. 
I have some as well, but that's not my primary focus. My primary focus is getting more physical silver content. And it sounds like that's the same for you. So being that you have one fourth of the entire stack in junk constitutional 90%, I'm assuming maybe 80%, 35%, 40%, whatever it is, regardless, 25 ounces in junk silver. I think right now that's probably the move. And that's probably going to be the easiest way for you to double your stack, the easiest way for you to double your silver to get from 100 ounces to 200 ounces. As for gold, I don't exactly know what type of gold you're stacking, but I'm assuming probably fractional since you have a half an ounce total, either tenth ounce or quarter ounce coins, maybe pre-33 gold. But in terms of silver, I think the 90% is probably your best bet. I think it's probably the easiest way you can go if you want to double your stack, go from 100 to 200 troy ounces of silver. You can also go with generics. That's an excellent way to go. In fact, saw the other day, Jay and Bullion had an anniversary sale, and I believe their silver rounds were... I think like a dollar seventy nine over spot or something like that, something super cheap. So when it comes to generics, very easy to get your hands on, very easy to find deals online and especially at the local coin shop. If you have a coin shop in your area, I'm sure they'll hook it up. I'm sure they'll help you out to the best of their ability. Coin shops are small businesses at the end of the day and. Almost every small business that I'm aware of has the you scratch my back, I scratch yours mentality. So a lot of coin shops out there will try to help you out in any way that they can. Because guess what? You're the one walking into their shop supporting their business. They're going to try to support you simultaneously. So by visiting the local coin shop, you can even ask them to load up on a specific piece of silver if that's what you're looking to get. They'll get it for you. And if you want cheap rounds online, guess what? If they're a business and loading up on silver and or gold constitutes as inventory for them, then technically that's a business expense for them because they have to stock the shelves. They have more currency. They have possibly more business credit to load up on larger amounts of those coins, rounds, and bars that you might be looking for. See, someone like me, I might only be able to pick up three, four, five, maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten ounces of silver at a time. You know what they can do? They can pick up 50, maybe 100, maybe a couple hundred troy ounces of silver at a time. And if you're ordering it online, the larger the quantity, the cheaper it's going to get. We see this all the time. If you order one Silver Eagle, carries a much higher premium than if you were to order 20 or more. And those carry a higher premium than if you were to order a couple hundred at a time. So the more you order, the cheaper the premium gets. And I'm just using the Silver Eagle as an example. That goes for rounds, bars, anything you get online. See, someone like us, someone like me, someone like you, we can't afford to get hundreds of ounces of silver at a time, but maybe the local coin shop can. So you can request for them to get something for you. They might say no. There might not be much of a demand for it. They might say yes. So that's something to consider. If you're asking where you should go from here, I would get to searching online. I would figure out who has the best deals, who has what you're looking for. And I would ask the local coin shop to see if they can get it for you. See, they can get more silver than you can get. So that vastly chops down the premium for them. Then they'll sell to you at a slightly higher premium. So they make a profit. Yet it's going to be cheaper than if you were to get it online. 
So by doing it this way, I know it requires a middleman. I know it requires a third party. I know it might require a little bit more time. But it can reduce the price a little bit. And if currency is an issue, and if you're a human being, currency is an issue, there's an idea. But when it comes to the type of silver to stack, personally, I would just stick to 90% in generics. That's what I'm doing. I have absolutely no desire to stack Silver Eagles right now. I would like to, but premiums are just too high. And to be honest, it's been about a year and a half since I picked up any, excluding the Type 2s. It's been a, over, over a year and a half at this point since I've picked up Silver Eagles the way that I used to be picking up Silver Eagles. And to be honest with you, with 18 months going by, I kind of lost interest. I've moved on. So with my primary focus being on 90% right now, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm not settling for less over here. I've moved on. And I'm still picking up silver. Obviously the premiums are still up there a little bit. But they've come down slightly, and guess what? Spot prices come down a bit as well. We're no longer looking at $27, $28, $29 silver, excluding the premiums with a five, six, seven dollar premium tacked onto that. We're no longer looking at that. Spot price is down. Spot price is now in the $21, $22, $23 range. Premiums, at least from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing as low as $1.75 to $2 over spot on very special deals that's not the norm but what is the norm maybe three four maybe five dollars over spot depending on what you're getting and 90 percent is just the cheapest way to go right now and it just so happens to be what i was lacking yeah i wasn't focused on 90 percent. i started focusing on it a little bit in 2019 but barely i was just integrating it into the stack because it was something that i wasn't paying attention to 2020 i had no choice i was forced to stack 90 percent. it was either 90 percent or nothing really that was the reality of the situation so from this point moving forward or last year to today and moving forward i think i'm going to be working on doubling my silver primarily with 90 percent some generics from time to time, if I stumble upon a good deal, or if my local coin shop just happens to have some, I don't know, maybe buffalo rounds, or sunshine rounds, or a sunshine bar, something like that, but my local coin shop isn't a coin shop. My local coin shop is an antique shop that has a section of the store dedicated to coins. So it's not like they have this crazy selection of every silver coin round and bar you can think of. No, they have a lot of numismatics. They have some older stuff, some constitutional. So I just stop by and I pick up Washington quarters any chance I get. That's it. Pretty simple. I'm going to be doubling my silver primarily with 90%. Some generics whenever I stumble upon them. And I guess if there's a good deal or something interesting going on with coins, specific coins... I'm not picky, but I won't pass up an opportunity when I see one, which is why, for example, I was able to pick up the silver Kraken last year. This is not something that I would have picked up the way I was stacking in 2017, 18, and 19. This is, ap I love this thing. This is my favorite looking coin that I even own. It's the craziest, I I'm just, I'm in love with this thing. Anybody who knows me, anybody who's watched any one of my videos knows that this has been on display since the day I got it. I love this thing. But this isn't something that I would have picked up two years ago. The premium was a little bit higher, and I was just so lasered in on Silver Eagles at the time. 2020 really changed my strategy. Because my strategy needed to change. There was a roadblock. So I ended up with this right here. And I'm glad, because this is my favorite looking coin that I own. And guess what? If I didn't get this, I wouldn't be pre-ordering the next one, which I already did. 
and it'll soon be on the way. It'll be shipped out in about a week and a half. So that's what I mean by stumbling upon certain coins. When something pops up, something brand new, something interesting, something unique, pre-order, sure, I'll pick one up. That's why I got the Type 2 Silver Eagles, a handful of them. Just because I knew it would make for a good video. I knew it would spice things up a little bit. It would give me something different, something to be enthusiastic about, a refreshing change of pace. Nothing wrong with that. But that's not my focus. My focus is the 90%. I'm trying to get as many Washington quarters as I can. And I'm starting to put them in rolls now. Because they're beginning to add up. I don't want bags upon bags upon bags upon bags of Washington quarters. I'm going to start rolling them up. And guess what I'm going to do after that? I'm going to go after even more Washington quarters. Rinse and repeat. That's how I plan on doubling my silver, taking my stack from where it is right now, and getting to the point where it's twice as much silver. Multiply it by two. Except I'm not going to completely replicate the stack. From this point moving forward, I want it to be primarily based on that constitutional. That's what just makes the most sense to me. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but you asked for my input. That's my opinion. That's what I personally believe is the best way to go right now in officially the fourth quarter of 2021, because that's where we are right now. It's October 1st as I'm filming the video. It's officially the first day of the final quarter. I don't know what October, November, and December will bring us in terms of silver or in terms of the general state of the economy. I have no idea. But like I said a couple of videos ago, for every problem, there's a solution. Problems wouldn't exist without solutions. And we do have a bit of a problem in front of us, ahead of us, later down the road. Inflation and a variety of other financial situations. And I'm not going to sit here and say that silver or gold is the solution to the problem. But I think it's probably the closest thing to a solution. That's just my opinion, but I want everybody to head on down to the comments and let me know. However much silver you have, how long would it take you to double your stack? Would it take you a couple days, couple weeks maybe? Maybe you don't have all that much silver. Would it take you a couple of months? Would it take you a couple of years? It would take me a couple of years, by the way. How long would it take you to double your stack of precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000 and I appreciate that. And if you wanna help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, 
which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations. Got the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tees available in three different colors as well as the DYDSS Fight Collection raising a little bit of funds and awareness for the National Breast Cancer Foundation for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? When it comes to doubling your silver, when it comes to doubling your gold, how long would it take you to do? from where you're currently at right here, right now. If you have maybe five ounces of silver, a hundred ounces of silver, a thousand ounces of silver, how long would it take you to get from point A, which is where you are right now, to point B, which is doubling your stack? This video is just for fun. It was also to answer a subscriber question. So Eric, thanks for asking the question. I appreciate it. If anybody has questions for me that you'd like me to dedicate a whole video to, head on down to the comments and ask away. But also, everybody watching this right now, if you can answer Eric's question as well, where do you think he should go from here? What do you think he should do to get his stack from 100 ounces of silver and half an ounce of gold to 200 ounces of silver and a full ounce of gold? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.